Don't mind me just breaking all your shit. Oh yeah, I can do this now. Not bad, maybe a bit forced Scottish, maybe a bit Aberdonian. Ah. Sounds a bit like Shrek. Oh. Oh, so you're so it's 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 a perfectly accurate Scottish accent then. Hello, Remy Callis. Another survivor. But I've never seen you in the tower. Well, That's he because of the professor's assistance in the downstairs projects. Did he escape? Excuse me. He distracted them, so I'd escape. That sounds like him. Professor Hughes was very thoughtful. I mean, he is. He is very thoughtful. I'm sure he found a way to get out. He must have. What is a face weaver? You mean Agar. He visits Hughes every once in a while. I never could figure out why they got along. He's friendly enough. If a bit odd. Hmm. You should be able to find him in Gorhart, just down the road, past the ruins. You can't miss it. Okay. We should be safe here. At least a little bit only my friend. Dope shit, that's not what I wanted. We should be safe here. At least a little longer. Okay, should I'm I'm gonna try this as well. Oh, okay, I don't, I can't, um, charge up. That's fine. I have a question for you. Have you ever eaten paper, and if you have, has a teacher gotten onto you, and what was their reason? No. No, I have not done that. So there appears to be enemies here. I'm gonna leave that bear alone, because it's a bear. There could be treasure here. Let's see if I can sneak past this bear. Uh, I'm not an alchemist, so I'm probably not going to need this. Alright, who's screaming? your half robe thing you've come from the tower haven't you he name's agar maybe you can help an old fate weaver eh? Uh, what's a fate weaver fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate the threads will tell us how a life will unfold but knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things hmm you sent me to find you did he Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. What makes you think he's dead? The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. But Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. Oh. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. Hmm. The cards. You really don't the know cards. Much, do you? The cards a will tell. Taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. Ah. The cards are unique to each fate weaver, since we all see the weave differently. Can you give me some help? I suppose I could spare a little help <clears throat> in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success, whichever. Hey, that's okay. I was dead too. You. You're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. Does it? The cards this morning. I drew the grave digger, the running man, and the beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Oh no. <clears throat> I do like his sword. That's a fucking badass sword. <laughs> Perform a search for packs to defeat the enemy to gather the threads of fate energy. Oh. 
fucking wrecked, son. Oh, okay, so now the rogues show up. My fate meter is full. The fate symbol will pulse. You can use it by enter reckoning mode. Do the weave. Reckoning mode greatly increases your attack. Fuck. Attack power lasts until you run out or until you fate shift an enemy. Hold X. Okay. As you defeat enemies and recommend their fates will begin to unravel. Move near an unraveling animation from fate shift. This uses your main fate energy to destroy unraveling clothes and gives you an XP bonus. That's what I did to the monster. The the QTE is different every time. And if you don't see it, like, immediately, you're screwed. Another I'll weave your fucking fate. What? How? What are you? I'm the protagonist. The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but <clears throat> I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? I mean, I held down the X button, and then... And then when when they went all glow when the enemies went all glowy glowy and the prompt appeared, I pressed F. Isn't that how everyone does it? Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. So what you're telling me is that I have the ability to manipulate fate and that my coming was itself prophesized? What the fuck? It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. Hmm. Is this why he said that? That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan. Unlike most gnomes. Yeah, sure. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. Mm. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. But you just told or me that I have the ability to... I should be. You're but really if you can manipulate I... fate, you can avoid death, though. I yeah. I haven't had that much... I mean, unless I royally fuck it up, because I am just a stupid mortal that can't do anything. It's always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just missing. Oh, that's promising. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. Is this is this legacy of Cain? Okay, um. Okay, those are the those are the tier ones. So this is what I'm going to go for. I want to go for might and sorcery because battle mage. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go with. But we can we can't do mixed classes yet. We can apparently do. Ha! Huh, we can apparently do all three. But no, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with magicy magic. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. Yo, their lips aren't moving. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. Really? There's something wrong with the person that died? It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. Hmm. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Okay. The 
Spade Weavers were once a great unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bit of lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yeovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. Oh? He's a damned good fate weaver. But that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrun. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. Hmm. I was a hero of men. But that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. Fair enough. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yolven. I'll meet you there. Okay. Bye. What could this all mean? It means I'm the protagonist of a fantasy RPG. Obviously. Nah, this game's great. I'm, I'm just giving I'm just giving it shit. No, hey, it's one of these. Of all the songs in halls of lore, their echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. What is this thing? Hmm. Uh, the first thing, thing we the first thing we need to do once we get into town is to buy some weapons. Too bad I've fucking forgotten what all of the what all of the logos mean. Where's my map? Ah. Okay, special case delivery chest, healer, detective trainer, merchant. Ah, merchant. Okay. The pile of coins is the merchant. Good. Everyone just stand back. Oh. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. Go back to your business. Oh. Hello. Strange times. Don't give Nana your business. She's mad, you know. Hello. Keep moving. Oh. This business doesn't concern you. I Unless mean... Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fae, I'd suggest you move oh. along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. Uh. What's a Red Legion? Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard oh. of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood Isn't that a video bandits, game? That he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. Uh. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, uh. your life is in your hands. I love that you can still hear her fucking dying. Oh wait, I forgot to ask about the As I said before, you should move along. Who's this? I don't know if you noticed, but St. Aldwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned oh. up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. Oh. The brothers of St. Aldwig's are an odd sort. Scurrying back. Is this our first side quest? Like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed oh. doors. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Oh. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace. At least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. Hmm. Oh. 
It's just my opinion, but I think, like, elves shouldn't have rights. It's just my opinion, though. One of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be most of the time. Oh, it's the other thing. I'm not the racist, I'm just race critical. Or whatever the one. fuck it's called. A vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave oh, I'm, all I'm a race realist. Are you playing a trick on me? Yes. I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally, I decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. Hmm. This chick is just dying. Okay, bye. Uh. Hold on, I'm gonna... Oh, there's signs. Okay. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I was not aware of that. Alright. Hi. Yes. Are yes. you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? Yes. Oh. Um. I'll be here. Alright. Hello there. I guess I have thought about buy things searching from here. for treasure in that nearby Arathi Thankfully, the war is far from here. Oh, buy things from Hello. you. Welcome to Gorhard, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Aha! Uh -huh. That's better. Um, you don't have any... You don't have any fucking... Yeah, what? Great, can't afford anything right now. Ooh, I can afford this. Sure, I'll grab the hood. I'll grab this talisman. Okay. Goodbye. Come see me again. Oh, okay. Hey, that's that's better. Yeah, now I'm now I'm now I'm a proper mage. Okay, so it's like Fable in that I can't actually- I can't attack pe- I have to press a button to be able to attack people. Cool. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Bad. I guess that worked. Whoa, whoa, lag. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Mm. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm the Warden of Gorhart, and a poor one at that. I've been back from the war for only six months and been Warden for less than two. Now here I am with an injured fay on my doorstep. I'm a disgrace. What happened? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fay. It's called division of labor, or division of responsibility. To treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. 
They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Hmm. Perhaps a fay will know how to heal a fay. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Cool. Bye now. Uh, press enter to pursue this quest. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust to life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, oh wait, she's off this way. I'll take another screenshot of my character, just with this hood. There. So Emma, what do you think of this game so far? I know, like, nothing's really happened, and you missed the beginning, but, yeah. So the mage weapons are pretty cool, but the long-range mage weapon uses your own magic. So what, what's even the point? Why not just cast spells? I guess it costs more less magic, but still. Hello. A bogart? Is this, is this my greatest fear? Piece of games my uncle Wood does play. Really? What else does your uncle play? Like Dragon Age, Skyrim. Oh, you're probably not Skyrim. Fable. This is this has a very Fable-like aesthetic to it. The wolves in this game look fucking cool. Ooh, another lore stone. I don't know if what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. Oh my, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> That seems like they're abusing the system. One second. when the door was locked and people just open it. Anyway. Ooh, interesting. Like my sword's my sword's garbage, so Okay, sweet. 
Oh, it's fire and lightning. How does that work? But I guess the primary effect is lightning. Crit. Ooh, what's that? Ah, crap, I don't remember how to do this. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Alright, gotta sell some of this shit. Trans confer temporary bonus. Different deities will convert different bonuses to your character. Sweet. Don't know what that bonus is, but we'll take it. <laughs> 